Emily. And I'm Asher. And today's STEM quick win is soil sedimentation jar. Let's get started! Today's STEM quick win was brought to you in partnership with PPG. Thanks for your support and let's get started. Soil is made up of a mixture of sediments, most commonly sand, silt, and clay. Soil scientists are able to use a sedimentation jar to separate the sediments found within a soil sample. To learn more about soil and the content behind today's STEM Quick Win, check out our activity sheet linked down below. Step 1. Collect soil samples from a couple different locations. Step 2. Observe the soil sample using sight, touch, and smell. Step 3. Notice that the soil usually contains both biotic, living, and abiotic, non-living, components. Rocks and sediment are abiotic. Organic materials from plants and animals are biotic. Step 4. Soil can contain different types of sediments, commonly sand, silt, and clay. Sand particles are the largest sediment, silt particles are smaller than sand, and clay particles are the smallest. Soil scientists can separate a soil sample into layers and particles using a soil sedimentation jar. Step 5. Fill a jar one half full of soil. Add water until the jar is about two thirds full. Step 6. Close the jar and shake it vigorously for one to two minutes. Step seven, let the jar sit for a couple of hours overnight. Step eight, observe the components of the jar. Soil particles will settle by size. Sand at the bottom, silt on top, and clay on top of silt. Most organic material will flow at the top. And that's all for today's STEM Quick Win. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. We would love to see the soil sedimentation jars you guys create, so please share them with us online. And thanks again to PPG for sponsoring today's STEM Quick Win.